Mark. Hey guys, you're watching Radical Gaming HD, and here we are with, as you can see, some exclusive Black Ops 2 um, Create Class stuff. Uh, first of all, I would like to um, say that I was going to upload this yesterday, but then I really couldn't. I got busy all of a sudden. So yeah, I apologize for that, but here it is now. Hopefully, I'll upload a second video today as well, since I've got the day off. Got a lot of homework to do and all that, but uh, I'll do my best for you guys. Uh, but anyway, this is an exclusive Call of Duty Black Ops 2 create a class thing on a um, Black o and a, on a Call of Duty uh, fan page, uh, Call of Duty Series .de. It's a German a Call of Duty fan site uh, sort of forum thing. It's pretty cool, and uh, this is probably the main thing that's on this site like right now for me. I haven't really seen the rest of the site, but yeah, this is it. Um, I tweeted about this. Some of you checked it out. It was pretty cool. Not many of you are following me on Twitter, but there's more of that at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, so uh, pretty much this is the creative class thing. This is what uh, creative class in Black Ops 2 will look like uh, in the game. I mean, not not really look like aesthetically, but look like uh, will feel like more. It'll it'll feel like this. This is what it will function like. It won't look like this. This is ugly compared to the game. Most likely, it might look like this. Who knows? Uh, anyway, so as you can see, uh, whoever made this took quite a bit of time to uh, make to make it. Um, it, it it functions really well, it looks really nice, and uh, yeah, let's might as well just go through it right now. So primary weapons, uh, pretty much you click on uh, whatever box you want to fill up, and it, you know, underneath it lists all the stuff. I mean, it's it's pretty, pretty impressive. You got the assault shield, you got the SMG, sniper rifles, uh, LMG, shotguns, and uh, assault rifles. These are all the weapons that are going to be in the game. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. There's, I don't think they're going to be adding any new weapons before release for now. Uh, after you selected your weapon, uh, you can select all the attachments. Um, of course, there are some attachments that uh, aren't um, that are only for some weapons. So in the game, like for example, I don't think you can have an SMG with a foregrip uh, because I'm pretty sure it's just a list of all the attachments, a list of all the weapons. So pretty much, if we take for example um, the MP7, uh, so you click on that and it goes there. Then attachment one. I don't think you can get the SM, the MP7 with a ballistic CPU or iron sights. I mean, it obviously has iron sights. I'm pretty sure ballistic CPU, via variable zoom, iron sights, all these bottom attachments are kind of um, attachments only for sniper rifles. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much all the attachments are here, and you have to select ones, and pretty much you have to guess that they're on the gun that you're using, on the type of gun you're using. Um, you can have two attachments, of course. It takes up an extra point and all that, but yeah. And as you can see, since I've selected one thing, one weapon, as you can see, my points at the top here go from 10 to uh, to 9. Pretty cool. So yeah, it's a pick 10 system. Uh, perk 1, you've got all these. You've got Flak Jacket, Ghost, Blind Eye, Hardline, Lightweight. What I would have what I would have liked is that they kind of explain uh, what the perks do, but they don't. So uh, you're supposed to know what they do, I guess. Um... It's not that complicated. Flag jacket. These are all the kind of perks that we've seen before. Um, yeah, uh, they have changed a bit though in Black Ops 2. So watch my creative class, uh, my Black Ops 2. Uh, Let's talk Black Ops 2 series for more on those perks. Uh, here are some more perks. These are perk two. So yeah, as you can, as you know, you can get two perks if you use a wild cards. Wild cards are down here at the bottom. So uh, you can get um, primary gunfighter, secondary gunfighter, which are extra attachments on your primary or secondary weapon, respectively. Overkill two primaries. Instead of a perk, it's a uh, it's a uh, wild card now. Danger close is a uh, more um, lethal, um, an extra lethal uh, lethal equipment. Uh, perk one, perk two, and perk three greeds are extra perks, uh, and tactician are extra tactical equipment. Um, so yeah, I mean, after that you got the score streaks, which is pretty cool, all these score streak things. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, that's pretty much it. Um, that's yeah, really cool. So, uh, what I wanted to do now is just uh, show you guys, um, what my perfect class would be, uh, for now, as far as I know. So first of all, I'm going to take the AN-94, just because it's pretty much the Black Ops 2 AK-47, except it's even beastlier. It's going to have the same, it's going to pack the same punch as the AK-47, it's going to be a beast of a gun, a real heavy hitter. Um, except now it's going to be more accurate at longer distances because if you didn't catch that when I said it in my Let's Talk Black Ops 2 series, um, this gun actually fires two bullets uh, very rapidly. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's two bullets very rapidly. So, uh, so yeah, so bam, bam. So the first two bullets will always hit the target. And since we know that the AKAN sort of guns... 
um, are always very powerful. Two bullets might be the lethal, the lethal dose, you know, if you know what I mean. So yeah, so it's going to shoot two bullets very rapidly and uh, very precisely on a single target. So uh, no matter what the distance is, you should be able to land two bullets on the target. So uh, yeah, that'll be lethal and the rest of the bullets just sort of, you know, go out like a normal gun. But yeah, two bullets on target seems like a very nice um, feature for a gun and that's why I've taken, take, chosen the AN-94. Uh, as attachments, I don't know, there's so many awesome attachments. I mean, from attachments that are actually useful like... Uh, uh, I don't know, like uh, like the suppressor to keep you off the maps and fast mag to the attachments that are sort of useful but really are just there for the awesome beastliness that they add to your gun, such as the laser sight, which just looks so beast. I mean, that thing in ba Battlefield 3 is awesome. Or the select fire, which is, you know, some may debate between its usefulness. I think it's more of a, you know, little toy sort of thing than an actual useful attachment. So I might probably won't use the select fire that much, but um, yeah, for now I've got the fast mags, cause just cause I like to reload always as fast as possible, and then uh, for those up close, I never really use. Uh, I used to use uh, optics a lot on all my guns, but now I really don't use them that much. I use more the iron sights, and I use uh, th those attachment slots for stuff that are more useful uh, all around. So uh, pretty much I'll put on the laser sight for that hip fire accuracy. So pretty much what I've got is sleight of hand and steady aim. Uh, perk 1, let's take uh, the usual that I take hardline just because it's an awesome perk as always. It, I don't think it's ever it's changed in Black Ops 2, so yeah, uh, it's beast. Um, perk 2 actually has some pretty good choices. You got cold-blooded, uh, which uh, kind of makes you harder to find on um, player-controlled uh, kill streaks and all that stuff. That's useful. Uh, hardwired, uh, that is uh, makes you... I don't know what hardwired do, I'm, uh, does, I'm sorry. Uh, scavenger... Um, always useful, picks up some ammo. Fast hands is also very useful. Use uh, use your um, use your equipment and stuff faster. And then toughness, which is uh, which is also very useful. Uh, I'm pretty pretty sure that's like a f um, reduces flinch when you're shot at. But for now, I'll take scavenger just because it's an awesome perk, and uh, it always comes in handy on those long gun streaks. You know, because I'm such a beast. Um, and perk three is uh. It's got some hard choices. You got engineer, so you can uh, hack in. You, you can't hack into. You can um, you can uh, uh, booby trap and all that stuff. Care packages. You got dead science silently. Extreme conditioning. You run longer. It's like marathon. Tactical mass less um less effect. Uh, it reduces the effect of flashbangs and all that stuff. Awareness and dexterity. Um, I don't really sound for that much. So awareness already is out. Tactical mask I never really use that much, even though it's really OP. Apparently, I never really liked it. Dead Silence, I don't need it. Engineer, I don't really use. I don't care about hacking. Extreme Conditioning and Dexterity, those are the two choices for me. And for now, with this gun, I'm going to have to take Dexterity because it just helps me aim down the sights that much quicker. Um, yeah, if you didn't know what Dexterity does, it's a faster ADS. So yeah, so with this gun, I'm going to have to aim down the sights a bit. It's uh, quite a lot. It's not an SMG, so you can't really run around with just uh, just hip firing. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to have to take that. Secondary weapons, I'm not sure if I should even take a secondary weapon because honestly, I mean, I've seen gameplay of the crossbow and that thing looks beast. Um, if you didn't check check it out on T-Martin's channel, but that thing looks really beast. Uh, but, you know, honestly, I don't think, I mean, if I took a pistol, it'd probably be, oh, these all look beast, but it'd probably be the TAC-45 or the Executioner just because those look like the heavy hitters in the game. Uh, probably the TAC-45, because that looks like a really beast gun. I don't know if you saw the gameplay of it, but it's really beast. Uh, if I took a launcher, I don't really use launchers that much, but I'd probably just take the uh, anti-air one, probably the small or the FHJ-18AA. I'd probably take the FHJ-18AA, just because it looks really cool, and the small is from Modern Warfare 3 and boring. Uh, but probably my pick for the secondary would probably be the TAC-45 or the crossbow, uh, just because the crossbow is a beast as well. Um, well, let's see. If there's attachments for the crossbow, yeah, they they don't have the uh, attachments for the crossbow yet. Yeah, they the um, we just learned that there were attachments for the crossbow, so uh, so that's really beast. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna take a secondary for now. I'm gonna stick with my uh, AN94. Plus, I have scavenger, so I shouldn't run out of ammo that quickly. Uh, so yeah, lethal grenades, lethal equipment. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't really. You know, use that much of the uh, tactical stuff like the C4 bouncing bed and claymore. The combat axe is fun for fucking around, but 
you know, this class, obviously, you can see it's my perfect tryhard class. So uh, I'm going to stick with the Semtex just because they're beasts and you can stick people. Um, once in SND, I got a, I, it was on Dome in Modern Warfare 3. I threw a Semtex, I stuck a dude and got a triple kill in SND right there. That was probably my beastiest moment, but I wasn't recording, so yeah. Uh, sucks for me. Um, tactical grenades, tactical equipment, uh, tons of good stuff here. Tons of good stuff. I like this stuff. I might not use the tactical lethal equipment, but I use the tactical grenades a lot. Uh, now you got your classics like the flashbang, the concussion grenade, those are beasts. The shock charge looks really OP. It's pretty much like a flashbang that can stick into, into things and people. And uh, that can also, doesn't detonate if you miss, so really useful. Uh, you got your EMP grenade, which nobody ever fucking uses. I mean, maybe in the future people will use them more, but, you know, nobody uses that. Tackle insertion, which is for fags. Smoke grenade, which is for, you know, useful. Not really. It's useful for playing the objective, but, I, you know, I like playing the objective, but not very many people play the objective, so I'm going to forget about that. Black hat PDA, which we haven't seen much, but it you, allows you to hack into uh, hack into people. Actually, I'm pretty sure I was the one that found it first, like on YouTube. One of the people that found it first, just because in one of the videos I saw, like, there's a PDA. I was like, oh, yo, that's a PDA, and the guy's hacking into something. I don't think anybody ever caught that, so, you know, I might have been first. You know, I might be first in this community. I'm a beast. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, then sensor grenade, which is just a beast. It's kind of like the motion sensor, except it's a sensor grenade. Not sure if it lasts um, forever or until you die, or if it just detonates after a couple of seconds, but, you know... I'm going to have to take a shock charge because it just seems ri ridiculously overpowered. So, yeah. So, take that. Um, and then, I think, you know, uh, let's, do, let's, do the, let's do the wild cards. I think I'm going to take primary gunfighter just because I want a third, uh, a third attachment on my gun. Now, I'm not sure if FMJs do anything to the damage of the guns, all right? Or if they just are, uh, you know, like uh, deep impact and they just allow you to penetrate materials. But if FMJ do something to the does affect the damage of the guns, like makes it more powerful, I would definitely take that. Because those two bullets with FMJs surely would be a kill. And uh, this gun, as you know, two bullet kill, it'd be a beast because both bullets land on target. So as long as you're aiming at the target, you'll hit the, ki the, the target and get a kill. So I'd probably take FMJs. But if they only affect uh, the uh, impact and the material penetration of bullets, I'd probably take an optic or extended mags. Uh, maybe the millimeter scanner, just because that thing, you know, can see through walls and stuff to uh, kill the campers. Um, but yeah, that's probably my pick. Or adjustable stock for that extra um, ADS uh, sway reduction. Uh, how many points do I have? I am out of points, so that's my class. Wait, let's do the score streaks. Almost forgot. Excuse me. Uh, so score streaks. Um, you know what? Let's. I like to go down from the score streak, so I like to start with the hardest one to get, the highest, uh, the most, uh, the most points, and all that stuff. So there's a lot of choices. Actually, I'm gonna go to the middle for now. So for the middle one, I'm definitely taking the orbital V set just because it's like the Blackbird, and the Blackbird is probably one of the best kill streaks in Call of Duty history, just because it's a beast. Um, after that, I don't know. You know, I've got all these up here. Escort drone. That's pretty much like the. Uh, Overwatch helicopter, the Warthog, EMP systems, Lodestar, VTOL, K9 unit, and Swarm. Um, now these are pretty hard to get, These this Swarm thing. I play the objective quite a bit, so I could get some. Uh, the Lodestar, I think, is like the uh, B-52 uh, Rolling Thunder, which is a really awesome kill streak. One of my favorite. That was really fun to, to play with. It's kind of like the Stealth Bomber, except you need to get kills to get it. Because the Stealth Bomber, you can just get a... Um, well, you can get killed, but you can die, too. Um, so yeah, so I don't know what I would get. I would probably get, ah, oh, this is a tough, tough choice, this, let me tell you. I don't know, the dogs are beast. Uh, but then there was, there's always the EMP. I'm just kidding, the EMP fucking sucks, it's useless. If it's not in support, spike the strike package, it's useless. Uh, VTOL, it's pretty much a chopper gunner, that's really awesome. I actually never got a chopper gunner ever, so maybe I could break my, uh, bad luck with that. Um, the Swarm is also a beast, but that you need a lot of kills or a lot of points, a lot of score. Ah, this is a hard, hard choice, but I'm going to go with the, the Kujos, as Thunder would call them, the dogs. And uh, for perk one, I don't know what I would take, you know, there's a ton of choices. You know, there's the care package, I always like it, it's kind of like the Joker sort of score streak. You can get something that's beast, or you can get something like ammo. Thankfully, there's no ammo in Black Ops 2 in care packages, but uh, yeah, ammo is kind of useless, it's the worst thing. Oh, excuse me. It was the worst thing. 
Uh, but yeah, I think I would take, you know, under the under the Orbital V say you got a Stealth Chopper, AGR, Dragonfire, War Machine, all these great things. But I think I'm gonna stick with uh, the Joker, the wild card, the care package. Alright, so that's my uh that's my perfect class. Call of Duty Black Ops 2, create a class, pick 10 system. I've got the AN94 with fast mags, laser sight, and FMJs, hardline, scavenger, and dexterity as my perks, semtex, and a shock charge. Uh, primary gunfighter as my wild card, and that gives allows me to take FMJs as a third attachment, and my score streaks are care package, orbital, VSAT, and K9 unit. Now, uh, I'm not going to have this at launch, of course, because I don't know uh, when I unlock all these perks and all these weapons and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, let's hope I unlock them quickly enough to get this class, because for, for me, it looks really beasted for now. Uh, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh... You know, why don't you, I'll put the link in the description for this thing, why don't you make a class and uh, hook me up with what you've got. Leave it in the comments down below what you think is going to be a beast class, what you think is going to be your class to use, your go-to hard, try-hard um, class to get dogs and swarm every time. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching. This has been Radical Game in HD. Thanks for watching. Peace.